Hey guys, good evening. In this video, I'm going to cover my new duplicate account actions product for NinjaTrader 8, the desktop platform. This is something I've been working on and I'm ready to release it and make it available. I think it is going to be one of the best trade copiers on the Ninja Trader platform, if not the best, as I continue to evolve it based on your needs. That's what's cool is together we get to build this out based on what you need. And I've built this based on what I need so far and I'm going to continue building it out. But what I want to do here is cover the main features. So looking at this copier, it runs in a chart window. Down here you've got, I'm just going to go through these buttons real quick. You've got a main switch to turn the copier on and off down here. You've got a button to choose between all instruments or just the instrument that's in the chart. So for instance, this chart has a NASDAQ selected, so you can only copy NASDAQ trades or you can copy all instruments. These next three buttons are the three columns for configuring slave accounts, which I'll cover, but you can fade an account. You can hide this if you're not gonna use it, but you can fade on a slave account. You can change the multiplier on a slave account, or you can change the type of contract traded on a slave account between mini or micro. Here we can toggle between all accounts, live accounts only, or SIM accounts. And then with this button, we can reset everything. So more buttons coming, but that's what we have for now. Now, this here is a default configuration of the trade copier. So if I want to set this up, let's say that I want to trade my main account today is going to be my Ninja Trader brokerage account. So to configure an account as a master account, you just double click on this dash uh, box. Now that account is configured, you can see it highlights brown, which indicates that it is the master account. And then any slave accounts, we click on the account name. So let's say I want to duplicate both of my Apex accounts and SIM 103 and SIM 104. Now you can see those accounts immediately jump up in the list. The master account's always at the top and we are set up to be duplicating. Now in this example, you can see today I traded my Apex number four account, duplicated the trades to the Apex five account, which uh, resulted in some slippage, but generally the same results on eight trades. I was in and out eight times for a total of 16 contracts on each account. So also configuration options. So just so you see how this is configured, if you click on fade, if you want to fade an account, you just click to select it. So if it says yes, it's going to be faded, meaning you're going to be taking the opposite position of the master account. You can also configure the multiplier. So to do that, you're just going to click on and all these, if they're default, are grayed out. You can see how it's like a light gray, meaning there's meaning there's no changes. You're getting an exact copy from the master to the slave account. So let's say I want to do two times on here. What I would do is click, and then if I scroll my mouse wheel, you can see it's changing the multiplier. So I can do three times. Stop scrolling the wheel. It clears out, and now I have that one set to three times. So you can do this one two times, you can do this one four times. And again, now we have three times, two times on Apex 5, and four times on, on 103. Now, let's just say practically, I want to trade five micros. So let's just go ahead and just change this back to, to one. Let's say I want to trade five micros on Apex 5. So I would scroll this up to five times, click, 
and then I can click on here to select micro. So now you're going to be trading five micros on Apex uh, 5 and three minis on Apex 4. Now, just to know how this mini and micro column works, it doesn't matter what type of contract is traded on the master account. It can be mini or micro. Either way, it's going to trade whatever is selected for the slave account. So just to emphasize this, if I trade a micro ES on S&P futures ES, on this Ninja Trader account, micro, it's still going to trade a mini on four and a micro on Apex five. If I would trade a mini, a big contract, ES, it's still going to trade mini on four, micro on five. So rather than having the crossover thing, I thought it's actually better to just select what type of contract you want that account to trade and then the configuration is done from there. So again, any of these columns that you're not gonna use, real simple, you just turn the column off and it's off. Now it's not hidden, it's actually off. So even though these say three and five times, if I turn this column off with the button down here, it's gonna be off. Same thing with the micro mini column, it's off. So if I turn all these columns off, I'm literally gonna be copying the exact same number of contracts. I turn this on, it's gonna be three minis, five minis. Turn the type column back on. Now, now the micro thing is present, so it's gonna be five micros, three minis on Apex 4, and yeah, five micros on Apex 5. So the way this is designed, I think it's I think it's pretty slick. Um, I've used it, like I said on my own Apex accounts today and a few days before, um, testing it, and I'm happy with how it's working, feel confident to release it. Do want to continue to add features. I think that duplicating um, accounts is complicated. I've gotten a lot of complaints from you guys about other uh, trade copiers. So what I want to do is solve the problems that you guys are experiencing with other trade copiers, ultimately to have the best trade copier here. So, um, switching some tabs here, you can see here I've got this set to, to show only my Apex accounts. And again, the copier off button shows me it's off down here in the bottom right corner. This copier is on. So let's go ahead and look at how I configured this so that I only see my Apex accounts. First of all, I've got it set to live accounts only. This is set to sim accounts only, live accounts only, but I can also filter this further in the settings. I'm gonna show you guys a few of the settings here, really all the settings. So looking at this, at the top we have account filter. Whatever you type in here, it's only gonna show accounts that include that string in the account name. So looking at this, I put in Apex, now I'm only gonna see my Apex accounts in this copier window. You can also select your default contract mode. So like, let's say for example, I'm just gonna change this to micro. Let's say that I want my default to be micro to the copied accounts, and then I, it will only trade a mini if I hit the toggle in the type column. So we'll change that to micro just as an example. Moving further, our max multiplier. Again, let's say I wanna put this to 20. I have this default by 10 just to be safe here, but you can increase this to 20 or up to 100, I believe. So let's put that at 20 and we'll just see a few more examples. Here, you can turn off a bunch of these columns. So you can just uncheck these boxes based on what columns you wanna see or you don't wanna see. Here you've got some basic color and opacity configurations, which I won't go through in detail. And then down here, you've got um, some settings for the control buttons at the bottom of the chart. So not much in the way of settings yet. Let's click OK on this. So now you can see by default, my copied accounts are getting micros. So if I, again, I could increase this to say eight micros 
And now I'm gonna get eight micros on account five multiplied by whatever is traded on four. So again, if you would trade two lots on four, you're gonna get 16 lot of micros on five. Hopefully that makes sense for everybody. So let's take a look or let's consider some other things here. So again, if I click this, now it's set to minis, click it back, it's set to micros. Go down to one times here. Fade, we already talked about what fade does. I don't know why you'd wanna use it, but I've heard that it's a good feature that people are looking for. So you can actually configure your slave accounts to take the opposite side of whatever the master account is doing. Okay, so lastly, I'm gonna cover what exactly is this doing? So I wanted to, I wanted to make this simple. Okay, I, um, I have built a copier that duplicates every single order, target, stop, limit entry, stop entry, every single order gets duplicated. However, that can be complicated. You can have issues with fills and different things. So for this, what I'm doing so far is I am tracking executions. So we are tracking the master account for executions. If we get an execution to go long, um, for instance, we just take the quantity. So let's say this is set to two times and it's set to minis. With this exact configuration, we would take the quantity. So if I do a one contract trade and I'm long, I'm gonna get two contracts long in account five. Again, if I hit the close button, close button's gonna be an execution short to sell one. So then I would sell two in the slave account, or it would sell two automatically. So again, it's only, the only thing, the only orders that this duplicate account actions, at least so far, in the way I have it built, and this will expand, but so far, it's only submitting market orders. Now, what are the advantages of this? Well, the advantages are you're always gonna be filled, right? Because if we're buying limit, again, once we're filled, any limit order that's filled, we just submit a market order on the slave account. Same with stop orders. Filled, we submit a market order on the slave account. So it, can slippage be an issue? Yes, absolutely. You're not gonna get the exact same fills. However, for instance, if, you, if you're flying through one of your profit targets, you can actually get a better fill on the slave because by the time the profit target's filled, we submit a market order, the market's moved beyond that profit target. So I think this is gonna be a pretty lucrative way to copy accounts. I'm gonna simplify a lot of the things that happen, like accounts getting out of sync, and everything else. Now, do I think that there's another step or several steps for this duplicate account actions product? Yes, absolutely. I think the next step here would be to add stop losses. Like I think that there's, there's one order that's the most important to have in every single account, it would be the stop losses. But again, as you guys know, Every time you move a stop loss on the master account, you have to move that order on the slave account. You got to keep quantities in sync between multiple targets. You get multiple targets. Um, there are multiple targets, multiple stop losses. The multipliers can get weird. There's a lot of complications. So like I said, I'm keeping this simple to get started and I want to get it out and in the hands of some of you guys and see what you think. Is it reliable? Absolutely. Very reliable, very simple. It's submitting market orders. So there's not really much of anything that can go wrong, right? Now, the one warning I will say before anyone moves forward with this purchase is, if you're gonna trade this, remember, it's not gonna have stop loss orders. So therefore, when you're trading around news, I would, I would caution you very much to use this copier around news events. Why? 
because if it slams through a stop loss and you're submitting a market order, you could have significant amounts of slippage. Now, do I think this is a big deal? I don't because if you're trading reasonable size, you know, any, any type of move or slippage, even if it's 20 points in the NASDAQ, let's say you get a huge pop, 20, 30, 40 points beyond your stop loss and you get out. Does it hurt? Yes. But should it make or break your account? Absolutely not. It shouldn't. So even for unforeseen news events, I still think this is a great solution because it's going to keep the account in sync. That's what we're doing. We're starting with this most basic requirement of keeping the position size in sync. If we're long in the master, we want to be long in the slaves. If we're short in the master, we want to be short in the slaves. We buy, we buy in the slaves. When it sells, it sells in the slave. So that's the idea. Would love you guys to give me some feedback on this. What I'm going to do during this early trial period is offer 50% off on the price, um, on the list price. So hopefully that is helpful and just really appreciate that you guys would trust me to develop this and continue to develop it and build some of the best software on the platform. So that I think is a complete summary. Back on this main tab, you can also sort by column. So let's say I want to sort by realized profit or total profit, commissions, any of these can be sorted. It looks like while I've been talking, my SIM accounts are cleared out because that's what happens um, when a new session starts. So, but yeah, hopefully you guys find this valuable and I hope we can continue to build this out with new features so that we have the best and most reliable and most feature packed trade copier on the Ninja Trader platform. Thanks for watching guys.